Hey everyone, this is Nate from Git VoIP, and today we're covering latency and jitter. Let's get right to it. Latency is the amount of time it takes for data to reach its destination across an internet network. All internet activity, serving the web, gaming, streaming, and VoIP calls, relies on the exchange of data packets between internet servers. Latency measures how quickly these data packets travel between servers. Also called lag, latency is usually measured in milliseconds. Since VoIP relies on the real-time exchange of thousands of data packets per second, low latency is essential for high-quality VoIP calls. Ping measures how long it takes for data to travel from your device to a server, while latency tracks the time it takes for data to make the round-trip journey from your device through the server back to your device. Therefore, ping is usually half the measured latency. The main factors that increase latency are long distances between devices and servers, congested local networks, outdated routers, and insufficient bandwidth. You can measure latency or ping on your computer in two ways, an online speed test or a manual ping test. Many websites offer online speed tests that track your ping in just a few seconds, providing valuable information about your latency. You can also manually send pings on a PC using a ping command on the Windows command prompt. This automatically sends multiple ping commands to an IP address of your choosing, averaging these pings and providing approximate round-trip times that provide a reliable indication of latency. Jitter is when a network connection has inconsistent latency that results in major variation and time delay between data packet transmissions. On a VoIP call, this leads to mix-up and garbled audio or audio delay. Like ping and latency, jitter is usually measured in milliseconds. Since jitter usually stems from increased network latency, the things that increase latency are the same culprits that increase jitter. Online tests, like the one that we provide in the article in the description box below, reliably measure your jitter in under a minute. On VoIP calls, the acceptable latency is below 150 milliseconds, and the acceptable jitter is below 30 milliseconds. Let's walk through the troubleshooting steps. First, make sure you have a high quality router. A good router is critical in ensuring low latency and jitter. If routers don't have enough bandwidth to support the devices and activities on your network, this can cause a data bottleneck that skyrockets jitter and latency, leading to terrible quality audio and streaming. Number two, reduce unnecessary data use. When a local data network or Wi-Fi connection gets congested by too many devices consuming data at once, each device suffers to created performance. If you experience latency and jitter on VoIP calls, minimize the number of active devices on your network. And finally, number three, configure QoS settings. Your router's quality of service, or QoS, settings enable you to prioritize certain devices and data types, such as VoIP data packets or gaming data, so that the router ensures that these devices receive sufficient data when the network is crowded. If you found this video informative, Give it a like, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell below to keep up with our journey to simplify the VoIP world. Till next time, this is Nate from GetVoIP.